Hey guys, this is Todd with SubjectMoney.com and I'm going to quickly show you how to track lead form submissions on your website through Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager. Okay, so I have my analytics account open. The first thing that I want you to do is get down here to the admin, click on admin, and then go over here, click on data streams. Okay, I want you to open this up and in here, make sure that this enhanced measurement box is checked the blue box is checked all right go down here to this gear icon for measuring and i just want to make sure form interactions here is unchecked uh, google analytics 4 does automatically track lead form submissions the problem with this uh, the way that this one is set up is that it interacts kind of in a weird way with the pixel with facebook pixel and it also tracks um submissions that didn't actually go through that weren't lead form for example like if somebody filled out your form they didn't fill out a required field and it was an error submission so it was not a legit actual lead form submission it's still going to be tracked because they clicked that submit button so we don't want to track that we're going to uncheck this and we're going to create our own customized lead form submission tracking okay just save there and we can close back out of here again all right, now I want you to open up your Google Tag Manager and get into the correct account. All right, go to variables over here on the sidebar. And then I want you to click on configure. All right, scroll down here. Just make sure all these boxes are checked off under forms. So all those are checked off and then you can close that out. Now we're going to go and we're going to start creating our tag. Let's go to our tag on tag and then click on new we're going to title our tag i'm going to i'm going to title mine lead form submit ga4 all right so i've got that and then all right and then you're going to click here for choose a tag type to begin setup all right, and then select Google Analytic GA4 event. All right, you may already have your Google Analytics 4 configured with your Tag Manager account. I don't. If you do, you would just select it here. You're going to see it. It's going to look just like this. I don't have it set up, so we're going to set this up manually. I'm going to click on this none hyphen manually set ID. Now I'm going to get back over into my analytics account and I'm going to click on admin you may not need to but then just make sure you click on data streams and then again you're going to open this up and you're going to have this measurement id right here i want you to copy the measurement id get back into your tags manager and you're going to paste that into the measurement id and then we're going to name our event so our event name is going to be lead we're going to we're going to use a snake form so i'll just do lowercase lead form submit and then I'll GA4 okay so the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna set up an event parameter I want to know where these I want to know where the what page or what URL these lead form submissions are coming from and that way I can kind of track down whether or not they're coming from paid ads, which typically uh, brings people directly to the home page, or if they are coming from blog posts or other pages on the website. But I mean, I can also just see what page has a higher conversion rate and then maybe I can start driving traffic to that page, for example. But either way, I want to know what URL um, they're coming from. So I'm going to click on add row and I'm going to give it a name. And my names are getting kind of long. And again, I'll uh, lead form submit GA4, and then URL. All right, so I've got the parameter name. Now over here in the value field, I'm gonna click on this Lego icon and we will select page URL. Okay, so we have that done. Now we gotta get to our trigger. 
So triggering, we're gonna click choose a trigger to make this tag fire. All right, so choose a trigger. We're gonna create a new one, click this plus icon, and now choose a trigger type. Before we do that, let's name our trigger. Keep everything consistent, lead, form, submit, GA4, trigger. Now it's long. All right, click choose a trigger type to begin setup. Our trigger type is gonna be form submission. So you're gonna go down here to user engagement, click on form submission. All right, so I know we're gonna track a specific form. You could have multiple forms on your website. I do have multiple forms on my website and they serve different purposes. So we wanna track a specific form. If you wanna just do all forms, um, that's fine. I'm gonna show you how to track a specific form as well. So there's some skips you may be able to step if you don't wanna move on to tracking a sp specific form. But anyway, just follow along. Okay, so I'm gonna click save. And then again, I'm gonna click save. Okay, so now let's preview this. Let's test our tag. All right, let's connect to our website. I already have it entered in here, but you can enter in your URL right here, your website's URL, and then click connect. So now we are connecting Google Tag Assistant is connecting to our website. All right, here is my long, long form, and it's actually meant to weed out non-serious leads. Um, okay. Moving along here. Okay, click submit. All right, and we got our thank you message here. So the form has successfully been submitted. Now let's get back over here into our tag assistant. I want you to click continue. And then you can look here, lean form submit. So our tag has fired. All right, our tag is fired, but we're not done yet. We wanna track our specific form. Um, now, if you don't wanna track a specific form, you're fine with it. You can get over here. You just need to click submit and then publish. Um, but I'm going to select a specific form, so I'm going to show you how to identify that form and then track it. All right, so we're over here. We're still in Tag Assistant. Click on Form Submit, and then I want you to go over here to Variables. All right, your form may have a form ID. For some reason, mine doesn't. Um, but you can scroll all the way down here to Form ID, and within the uh, two quotation marks, Open the quotation marks, you're going to have your form ID. So just keep note of that. I am going to find my form class. That's going to be right here, form classes. So I'm locating form classes, but you can do the same with form ID. So first I'll show you how to do form classes. So I'm copying form classes. Now I'm going to get back over here to Google Tag Manager and I will go to my trigger. Lead form submit GA4 triggers. I click on form submissions right here. Okay, now I'm going to go, I'm going to change this from all forms if you want to and to some forms. Now I'm going to lo locate form classes. You can pick equal to or contains. I'll put contains. And I'm just pasting that in there using control V. Now, if you had a form ID, you would do the same thing, except for you would just go to form ID and you would paste in your form ID here instead of your form classes. I don't have form classes. I don't have a form ID for some reason. If anybody knows why I don't have a form ID, please comment in the video um, what I'm missing here. Okay, we've got our contains. Everything looks good. Let's click save. All right. 
Now, uh, I believe we have everything set up, so you're going to have to publish. You know what? First, let's test it. Click preview. Okay, continue. All right. Let's get over here to the website. You got to make sure you're connected to your tag assistant and let's test it again using the form classes. We've clicked submit again and form is successfully submitted. Let's get back over here to our tag assistant. And there you can see lead form submit GA4 has fired. It's firing successfully. Okay. Now let's get back over here to Google tag manager and we're going to publish this new tag. So just skip all this, just uh, click publish. I don't need a description. If you want to add that, you can. Okay. All right. So it is published. Now let's close out the tag assistant and let's just get onto our website and we are going to fill out our form again. and submit. All right, so our form again successfully submitted. Now let's get back over to our analytics. And ignore this error here. Okay, get into real time. All right, we're in our real time. And now let's over here on the right Yours is laid out this way. You can see our events, and then you can see our lead form submit GA4 has fired. There's been two events, which we've done. So you can see that it is connected to our Google Analytics account, and now our lead form submissions being tracked. So there you have it. I hope this has helped. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any suggestions. Thanks for, thanks for watching.